two months ago, like right before the season started, I gave you guys my NHL award predictions for this season. And with us now being a little over two months into the 2021-22 NHL season, and us potentially nearing a pause in the season sometime soon, depending on what goes on here in the next couple of days, I thought it would make for a fun video to take a look back at my award predictions and see how they're doing at this point in the season. And I know there's a lot of people that watch my videos that like it when I roast myself, and there's definitely going to be some of that in this video because there's already at least two of my award picks that literally have like a 0% chance of winning the award. If you guys want to see more videos like this where I go back and look at some of my older predictions and see how they turned out, then be sure to leave this video a like, let me know that you enjoyed, and also let me know down below in the comment section what were your NHL awards heading into the season and how confident do you feel about those picks right now. Let's start things off by taking a look at the only team award that I made a prediction for, and that is the President's Trophy, which is of course a awarded to the best regular season team, the team that finishes with the most points. The team I predicted to win the award before the season started was the Vegas Golden Knights. As you can see on the screen, I have the top five teams currently in the league based off of points. You have the Capitals, the Lightning, the Maple Leafs, the Rangers, and the Hurricanes. And down at 11 is where the Golden Knights currently sit, a record of 19 and 11, 38 points. I'm not extremely confident in this pick, but it's not one of the picks that I've completely lost hope for either. They obviously dealt with a ton of injuries as the season started, Pacioretty, Stone, Carlson, pretty much all of their best players missed at least a handful of games. So when you take that into consideration, they're definitely not in a bad spot. And also at some point in the season, they will be getting Jack Eichel and inserting him into the lineup. So maybe when that happens, they can go on some crazy run and maybe win the President's Trophy. So again, with where they currently are in the standings, I'm not extremely confident in this, but it's one of those picks that I'm definitely holding out hope on because I still think there's a possibility it could happen. Moving on now to the player awards, we have the Art Ross Trophy, which which is, of course, the scoring title, the player who scores the most points in the regular season. Now, I went with a bit of a boring pick here, the obvious one. I took Connor McDavid to win the Art Ross before the season started, and looking at the top five scores in the league at this moment, Connor McDavid is tied for first with Alexander Ovechkin. They both have 47 points. However, McDavid has played two less games. I'm obviously still extremely confident in this prediction. I mean, it's Connor McDavid. However, I will say I expected things to look a little different. I kind of expected him to be in a league of his own when it came to points, Ovechkin is kind of making me a little bit nervous. He's having an incredible season, but also I will say I'm not one of those people who care all that much if I get my predictions right for stuff like this or not. So honestly, at this point in the season, I'm kind of pulling for Ovechkin to win the scoring race just because I think it would be such a cool story for him to do that, for him to outscore the likes of McDavid and Dreisaitl at this point in his career being, you know, 36 years old. Moving on now to the Rock of Richard, which is of course awarded to the player who scores the most goals in the regular season. My prediction for this award heading into the season was Austin Matthews of the Toronto Maple Leafs and taking a look at the top five goal scorers in the league at this very moment you have Dreisaitl in first place with 23 goals, Ovechkin in second with 22 and then my pick Austin Matthews in third with 20. When you consider the start to the season that Austin Matthews had and where he's at right now being only one of three 20 goal scorers in the league at this point I feel pretty good about my prediction. If you look at the NHL goal scoring leaders from November 18th to December 17th so basically the past month Austin Matthews is first with 13 goals in 13 games. He's on another level right now, goal scoring wise. If I were to redo my predictions with all the information I know now, knowing how all of these players started their seasons, even with Matthews being three goals back of the league lead, I still think he would be my choice to win the Rocket this season. Okay, now it's time to roast myself a little bit. The Calder Trophy, which is awarded to the Rookie of the Year in a given season. My prediction heading into the season was goaltender Spencer Knight of the Florida Panthers. And well, guess what happened a couple of days ago? I'm sure most of you already know this, but Spencer Knight was assigned to the AHL by the Panthers. So far on the season in 13 games at the NHL level, Spencer Knight has a record of 6-4-2, so he has a positive record, but that's largely due to the fact that he's playing behind a very, very good team. He only has an 8-9-2 save percentage on the season, sending him to the AHL at this point in his career. Honestly, I do think is best for his development. I think it's a good move by Florida. He's only 20 years old sometimes, and in most cases, mostly all the time, goaltenders take a little bit longer to develop than than just normal prospects, normal defensemen or forwards. Spencer Knight spending some time down in the AHL, hopefully getting some confidence down there, I think is definitely going to do wonders for him. And although it isn't good for my pick of him winning the Calder Trophy, I kind of gave up on that pick like three weeks into the season. Next up, let's take a look at the Norris Trophy, which is awarded to the best overall defenseman in a given season. My prediction heading into the season was defenseman Kale McCarr of the Colorado Avalanche. This is one of those predictions similar to what I said about when I was talking about 
support my prediction of Vegas to win the President's Trophy. I'm not entirely confident in this pick at this point in the season. However, I'm still holding out hope and I definitely think there's a possibility he could still win it. On December 3rd, so a couple of weeks ago, basically the quarter mark of the season, NHL.com did a Norris Trophy vote and it was voted on by the Professional Hockey Writers Association and their vote finished with Roman Yossi coming in first place, Ekblad second, Adam Fox third, Victor Hedman fourth, and Kale McCarr fifth. So he's still kind of in that conversation, but probably still not the favorite at this point in the season. And again, that voting was like a couple of weeks ago now. So we'll see how the race for the Norris plays out as the season rolls along. But overall at this point, I feel okay about my prediction. Moving along now to the Selkie Trophy, which is awarded to the league's best defensive forward in a season. My prediction heading into the season was actually Joel Eriksson Eck of the Minnesota Wild. It was a little bit of an off the board pick. I feel probably just as confident in the pick at this point in the season as I did coming into the season and my confidence levels in this prediction were never really all that high. Eric Sinek is on pace to have career highs across the board in terms of his offensive numbers, goals, assists, total points, that kind of thing, and that should definitely get him a lot more recognition, and he's still been very, very good defensively, but not quite as good defensively as he was last season, and definitely not the best defensive forward in the NHL so far this season. If the season ended today, I feel like Patrice Bergeron would probably get it. I mean, the dude is just ridiculous at both ends of the ice aging like fine wine and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we see Bergeron win like a couple more Selkie trophies before his career comes to an end and I wouldn't be surprised if one of those come this season. Now let's move on to the Hart Trophy which is basically the league MVP and my prediction to win the award heading into the season was a very boring one. I went with the favorite. I went with Connor McDavid and I will admit things are a lot closer than I expected them to be. It's similar to what I said about the Art Ross race, the league scoring title race. Ovechkin is is right there with Connor McDavid and honestly I feel like if the season were to end today I would give the award to Ovechkin because he's putting up similar numbers well the exact same numbers as McDavid is at this point in the season and Ovechkin is doing it on the best team in the National Hockey League as of right now Washington has the most points of any team in the league and Edmonton is currently 15th with a record of 17 and 11 they've really been sliding lately although they did finally break their losing streak the other night all in all I do still feel really confident in my pick of McDavid being the MVP this season Season, but I'll say it again, like I said about the scoring title, I would kind of like to see Ovechkin get the heart this year just because nobody expected it. I mean, the guy's 36. And now finishing off the video with the Vesna Trophy awarded to the best goaltender in a season, and this was probably my worst prediction of all of them, I decided to go with Semyon Varlamov heading into the season as my Vesna Trophy pick. And listen, it didn't feel that crazy at the time I made the prediction. I mean, I was trying to be a little bit different, but also I still feel like Varlamov at least had a shot, but at this point in the season, I mean, he's not even the best goaltender on his team. He's 1-5-1, one, one, a 900 save percentage, 2.99 goals against average. Obviously, the New York Islanders having such a poor start to the season hasn't helped his numbers, but he hasn't really helped the Islanders either. He hasn't been the Varlamov of the past two seasons. So yeah, I mean, if I were to give a percentage of this pick actually coming true right now, I would say it's probably about 0.01. Even though Spencer Knight is in the American Hockey League, I feel like he has a better chance of winning the Calder this season than Varlamov has of winning the Vesna. Yeah, so rough pick here by me. I was trying to go off the board a little bit too much here. Tried to be a little bit too different. So that is going to wrap up today's video. Those were my NHL award predictions for this season and how I feel about those predictions at this point in the season. Like I said at the start of the video, let me know who you guys had as the NHL award winners coming into the season and how do you feel about your predictions right now based off of everything you've seen so far. If you enjoyed today's video, a like would be greatly appreciated. There's no dislike button anymore more so you might as well just go ahead and leave the video a like and if this was your first time checking out the channel and you want more NHL content just like this be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you again soon